Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fan Channel here with a quick taste of Stones of the Revenant, a game that's very much inspired by the uh, old sort of beat em up games, uh, very much an action platformer game. Uh, one of the things I have noticed is that uh, some of the stuff it has kind of drawn on isn't the best and has been kind of phased out like here uh maybe uh this is my pause menu i have no ability to change anything at all and i don't even have the ability to go back to the main menu so if i want to like just quit uh and restart or use a different character i have to actually uh, close the entire game and i don't know if my progress will be saved uh but anyways the story is essentially uh after years of peace a bit an evil revenant skeleton has returned uh using ruin stones uh, you pick a character and set out to uh, find his minions, destroy these stones, and then destroy him. I'm about two levels in. I believe there are five stones. They remind me of the Infinity Gems uh, because of their coloring and all that kind of stuff. But uh, uh, anyways, uh, I have picked the Tinkerer. I've tried playing as one of the melee classes, and boy, the controls are kind of wonky and weird. Uh, a lot of stuff has really long like uh, wind-up times that don't really make sense. Uh, the melee classes take forever to swing. Uh, this guy just has a straight-up shotgun. He has bombs he can throw, and his YR super ability is a uh, little turret that comes out and helps you. Uh, so far, this hasn't been too tough, and the levels have been fairly short. Uh, so... Oop. Cobalt. Oh, he got me. Uh, but yeah, I, I only played the uh, knight for a while, and I was like, no, this this controls terribly. So I moved to this guy, and it's it's been better. Come on. Hold on. I should probably, yeah, I can just stand here and do this. We're going. Come on, calm down. I got it. I understand, Ghost Sword. Uh, there has been very, very, very mild platforming. Uh, and uh, mostly just kind of scrolling, get to an area, and then defeat the enemies that appear. Scroll some more, then fight the boss. Got ya. A lot of the, oop. Uh, so far, uh, most of the enemies are either like kind of like low uh, health uh, melee enemies, low health flying enemies, medium health melee enemies, and so on and so forth. Uh, no medium health or high health uh, flying enemies yet. Like this guy's like a medium health enemy. Uh, that guy with the shield was a high health enemy sort of thing. So multiple, more, essentially just more shots or they're either range or melee. Bomb. Oh, that bomb missed. And most of the times, the last enemy uh, drops a, a health item. Come on. Get down here. Oh, he didn't drop it. Of course he didn't. So I haven't died yet, so I don't know what happens when you die. Missed again. And then sometimes enemies are uh, while it's scrolling and you don't actually have to kill them. Uh, usually right before the boss, there's a... Ooh, hey. Calm down there, buddy. Uh, there's one more enemy who has like a large health potion. Come on. Got him. Oh, there's a small one. So I want to say, hey, buddy. There it is. Uh, this is the boss. So during these cutscenes, you can actually activate your Y ability and kind of uh, and uh, inadvertently waste it. You can't skip these. I've been. I've tried. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how many games I've actually challenged and killed death, so. Come on. I can't move. That was annoying. Oh, health. You gonna come down here and play? I'm gonna kill death with a shotgun.
wonder how many... Does no, almost no damage. Alright, Death, where are you? It just, it, everything just controls super awkwardly. Go away, go away. All right, come on. Where are you, Death? Okay. You should be getting close to Death. That was annoying that I couldn't attack at the very beginning there. Oh, hi. But yeah, that's this. This is what the game has been. Essentially, just kind of running around, fighting enemies, murdering enemies with a shotgun. Did I take damage? Did he take? I don't know what just happened there. There he is. He's up there. Nope. Nope, there's absolutely no way to avoid that. I like that I can stagger death with a shotgun. That's great. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive this. This, this is not a good boss bottle. Oh. I survived it. We're good. So maybe I can uh, finish off death. Oh, I did it. I killed death with a shotgun, guys. You saw it here. And then you have to try to, like, hit it on the air. I got an extra... Oh, I have lives? I haven't even died yet. That's the closest I've come to death. I do feel that I'm about halfway through the game and I've played for maybe 20 minutes? Maybe 15? This was definitely the longest level. Also, there's no like real reason to kill enemies. Uh, they're like halfway... Uh, or uh, whatever they are. Because, um, like... Points don't really seem to do anything, so if, unless they're in this room that you're being forced to kill them in, there seems no reason to kill them. Spikes. Oh, that was unavoidable. There was nothing I could have done. I had to use the shotgun on the ghost. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of repetitive, kind of controls bad, and just not being able to quit is, like, insane. Like, I... Ugh. Uh, the, uh, Y meter or your super attack recharges as you kill enemies. Uh-oh. Now I'm just kind of not paying attention. I wonder what does happen when you die. Kill me. All right, what happens? Okay, do you start from the beginning though? That's the question. Yeah, you just start from the beginning of the area. So if, I'm guessing if you get all the way to the boss, uh, you have to trudge through it all again. Like I said before, a lot of this might be because of like, oh, this is like old retro games, but quality of life improvements make a big difference in uh, what you're willing to kind of uh, accept. But I am ZeroJD. This is the x Fan Channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, ask down below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.